Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montel. For my new subscribers, welcome. And for my existing subscribers, welcome back. So, in this episode, I'm gonna be discussing six of the things that I did to completely change my life. And I'm talking about massive transformation here from the girl I used to be who suffered with social anxiety and depression and feeling lost in life to the woman I now am today at 25 years old. It has been a journey. It has been a huge journey and a huge transformation. And I just wanna share with you that this process isn't something that happened overnight. It's been years in the making and it's still to be continued because life is still right in its Itself. my story is not yet finished but I know for sure that these are some of the things that I've implemented that aided within my transformation and I can honestly say help to change my life so the first thing was having that core belief that everything happens for a reason and I know that's a saying that you may have heard before and everyone kind of says it, but for me, it wasn't until my late teens where I really started to take that concept in and use it religiously in my life. And it's something that really helped to keep me grounded through some of the difficult situations that I was going through. I remember as a teenager, I used to believe that I had such bad luck and I used to always say, oh, my bad luck comes in threes. So whenever something bad happened, I knew that two other bad things was gonna happen within a really short amount of time. And it always worked out that way and I was just always rolling my eyes like typical I knew this was gonna happen but of course back then I didn't know about manifestation and the law of attraction but that is literally what I was doing I was manifesting bad experiences and bad luck into my life and that's when I really decided you know what I'm gonna take it upon myself to give meaning to my misfortunes and bad luck so whenever I was going through a bad situation I decided that you know what one day I'm gonna write a book and everything I'm going through in life is for the purpose of this book and by the Way, I do actually want to write a book one day but I just decided that all of the experiences my upbringing my childhood the people around me the situations the circumstances I've been through whether they're positive or negative I decided that they're all leading up to this book and how, who's gonna read a boring book right who's gonna read a book with no action with no story so that really helped keep me grounded in the fact that everything I'm doing in my life my experiences are all leading up to this book and all stories have adversity they have low points they have high points so I just really grounded myself to the concept that everything happens for a reason so whenever I was going through something I was like there's a reason for that I missed the bus no problem there's a reason that happened maybe that bus was going to get into an accident so that is just my blessing I've, I've saved myself from a situation and there's been countless amount of times in my life where I've said the phrase everything happens for a reason and maybe not in that moment I understand what that reason is but a week down the line six months down the line it starts to unfold and I start to see exactly why I missed out on that opportunity or things didn't go my way and things didn't work out so that single phrase that everything happens for a reason has really helped to assist me within my own personal development journey and just made me realize that the universe is working with me not against me so all I need to do is have that trust and faith that everything is happening for a reason the second thing I did which drastically changed my life was investing in my personal and spiritual growth and when I say investing I don't just mean buying a course I mean actually doing the work doing the hard stuff doing the uncomfortable part of self-growth which looks like starting to get a deeper sense of self-awareness so you can see the areas in your life where you need to grow and then taking that relevant action because it's one thing researching about where you need to develop in life or what your beliefs are but you actually have to put that into action and this investment into my personal growth is really what catapulted me into the reality that I now live in into the identity which I've now become because I went from feeling lost feeling confused not really having a sense of self or identity to now being on the journey of becoming aware of who I am what I bring to the world what my strengths are and how I want to create more impact so it's so important for you to have that self-awareness to be working on yourself doing that inner work hiring mentors investing in programs which are gonna help you to become the best that you can be and then on the other side I am also starting to explore my spirituality as well and that is something that I kind of just left on the back burner for so long in my life just because the way my life was going I just didn't I didn't have that faith and I was just going through with the motions of life like not really having that awareness of myself not really having the awareness of the support I have the infinite amount of 
support, the guidance, the wisdom that I have from God, from the universe. So it's really been eye-opening to me to dive deeper into my spirituality and realizing that I don't have to do this alone. I'm so supported and I'm just loving being on that journey right now, but it's really helping to shape the woman that I am and the woman that I want to become. The third thing that changed my life was removing toxic people and situations. And when I say toxic people, I don't really like to label somebody as toxic. But what I mean by that is they was toxic to me in some way. You are not made to be for everyone and not everyone means good and not everyone is going to treat you as you may treat them. And that is something that you just have to accept, but you can remove them out of your life. And I've removed people out of my life countless of times, whether it be relationships with ex-partners and even friendships. And what I find most difficult about removing people out of your life is when it's not necessarily ending on bad terms, but you just know that you are going in separate directions and you just cannot bring this person along your path anymore. That's when it hurts the most, when they haven't really done anything to you directly, but you just know in order for you to elevate to the next level in life and in order for them to also do the same, then you are gonna be better off the part. And it takes a level of maturity for you to make those decisions, to break those bonds and to remove yourself out of certain situations. But that is what you are going to have to do if you wanting to drastically change your life, if you wanting to become the best version of yourself, you have to have that self-awareness of which situations, which friends, which people are not serving you and how you're going to gracefully remove yourself from those situations. And yeah, just take it from me. I know firsthand how difficult it can be, but that's for you to mature and to make those uncomfortable decisions. The fourth thing I did to completely change my life was traveling, seeing the world, exploring, immersing myself in different cultures. This is something I would hands down say you have to do in life. You have to take at least one solo trip and you have to travel. It really baffles me when people have not left their hometown out of choice. Like I get not everyone can travel at the moment, but if you are choosing not to leave your country, not to leave your town, then you are just missing out. There's so much to see. It will completely change your life and completely open your eyes to what is out there. I know that it's easy to get caught in your own little bubble in your area, in your city and feel like that's all that there is to life. And this is what causes a lot of people to get into a depressive state, into an anxious state where they feel like there's just nothing more for them. And all it could take is a quick flight across the globe for you to see what's possible, for you to see what's out there, the different people. There's so much more to life than the city that you're in, the people that you're around, the community that you've grown up with. There's so much for you to see. And especially when you take solo trips, this is how you are gonna grow so quickly because in order to take a solo trip, it takes a lot of self-awareness, it takes a lot of maturity, it takes a lot of independence, and it's going to take a lot of confidence as well. So these are four key areas, and there's probably some more, but they're the four key areas that you need in order to grow as a person. Self-awareness, maturity, independence, and confidence. And you can get all of that within one solo trip. So I would highly suggest taking a solo trip if you're someone who feels like you're losing direction in life, you feel like you don't have nothing to give, you're not fully aware of of your potential, then just take a solo trip because you will not regret it. The fifth thing I did to change my life was starting an online business. So I have always been entrepreneurial and I always knew I'd start a business one day. I just didn't know what capacity that would be in. And then along came online and social media and building a business online. And the amount of opportunities that I have had through building an online business, building a brand is just unbelievable and I'm so blessed and so grateful to be able to make money and monetize myself, my story and my knowledge is just amazing. Like it blows my mind every single day, the fact that we can do this so easily. And what upsets me is the fact that so many people are not doing it. So many people are not putting themselves out there and not reaching their full potential because they fear judgment or what people may say. And it's really frustrating because you could drastically change your life by starting a business, by monetizing your brand. You, the possibilities are endless, not just for yourself, but also for the impact that you can create on others. So if you know that you're someone who's business-minded and entrepreneurial and you want to start a business, then now is your chance. Now really is your chance. And I'm still so young on this journey. I'm still growing my business. I'm still learning so much about business, but the opportunities I've already been able to attract and the money I've been able to attract is just so amazing. And if you're someone like me who values freedom and independence and travel, then building an online business is one of the key vehicles that will help you get there so much quicker. So if you have been considering starting an online business, building your brand, but you're just not sure where to get started, 
I do offer one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions. So head down to my description box, you'll see all of the information on how you can book that in so we can start building your dream business. And then the sixth thing I did, which completely changed my life, was learning how to forgive. I was someone who would hold on to grudges so tightly and I just hated the thought of being disrespected, which I still do. But the way I, I go about that now is just completely different. But back then I would hold on to grudges and I told my story to you guys before, so you know the upbringing I've had. So I used to hold grudges up towards my parents, towards relationships, towards friendships, just any situation where I felt like I was mistreated or disrespected, I would hold on to that until I really learned the power of forgiveness and I learned the fact that forgiveness is not for the other person but it's for yourself because at the end of the day you're the person who has to hold on to the bad energy the grudges the hatred and by you holding on to that bad energy so tightly you're not allowing good energy to flow and i remember the first time i heard that concept that forgiveness is for you and not the other person and although i understood it i just could not wrap my head around it because i still felt like the other person should apologize they should own up to what they've done they should feel some sort of remorse but i realized that they're just living their life and you have to let them get on with it otherwise you could be waiting forever and I, I just did not want to hold on to bad energy forever because you never know when you're going to get that apology if you ever get it or if you ever get that explanation so the best thing that you can do is forgive that person and let it go so i have forgiven so many people in my life and they don't even know about it for all they know i still hate them and i've still got negative energy towards them but for me i know that i don't have time to hold on to those feelings anymore so i forgive so many people and it has been difficult and it definitely takes a level of growth and maturity for you to forgive people especially when they've so deeply hurt you and not shown any remorse for that but again this is what's going to make you feel lighter and happier so I know that one way I like to forgive people is creating a forgiveness letter so this is a letter that you'll just write out you want to first get all of that anger out and get all of that frustration so you'll start the letter by just cussing them out so just telling them all of the things that they did wrong all of the things that you hate about them and then once you've done that you can start moving into the forgiveness stage so you can start explaining in this letter how you would have liked them to approach the situation how they made you feel and then at towards the end you just want to say but with all this said and done i still forgive you and i'm ready to move on and this is not a letter you have to send by the way i mean you can send it but i don't like to send it so after i've written this forgiveness letter i'll just burn it and i'll get rid of it and i'll move on with my life and if that thought or if that anger pops up again you just write another letter and you keep on doing it and keep on doing it until you get to a stage where you will just no longer have that resentment and it's just pretty neutral you don't have any positive feelings any negative feelings towards this person and that's where you can truly move on and you set yourself free and that's something that really really helped me to change my life and it just helped to bring more positivity into my life and just better experiences overall. So that is it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a comment. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure you do subscribe. If you are listening over on the podcast, I would love if you can screenshot this, share it over to your Instagram stories and let me know that you are listening in. That is it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.